Hello people and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be going over my day pack. Not your everyday kind of bushcraft day pack or everyday work pack. This is my everyday pack for when me and Emily are out on adventures. So what do I mean by adventures I hear you say? Well by that I mean when me and Emily are just generally out and about. If we're going for walks, if we're going for a hike, if we're out at a National Trust property, or we're just out on the... No, I was going to say out on the town then. I don't go uptown drinking with a backpack on. I mean when we're up and like going to villages or just exploring, just general exploring. Not bushcraft specific, not lightweight hiking specific, nothing like that. Just out and about. So for those of you who haven't seen all of my videos, or maybe you're wondering what pack I'm carrying, I am still rocking the Cotopaxi Cusco 26 litre. Emily also carries a Cotopaxi rucksack, but she has the 20 litre Kilimanjaro. I'm mentioning that because me and Emily work in sync when we do these outings. Uh, when we first started, I would carry all the stuff. But we soon realised if we kind of split it in half near enough, we could carry the same amount of stuff, but we could both equally be quite lightweight and nimble instead of me having to slug it all. So that's why I mentioned that. So I'm not, what I've got in here isn't everything we have. Emily tends to carry her bit, but I'll explain that shortly. First thing I'm going to do is put a tarp down. Well, the first thing I probably should say is. This bag kind of tapers down towards the bottom. So this top area here is actually like a void of space. It just keeps taking it. It's one of those bags. Um, but the, the top section I tend to leave empty for a base weight. So then that top section tends to get used for the area specific items we need. So if we're going for a picnic, the picnic blanket will go in there. If we're taking a lot of food, some food will go in there, just that kind of thing. It's just an empty space that's there if we need it. Or extra layers, something like that. So today I've got the tarp in there. Okay then, as I go through these items, I will obviously do zoomed in shots so you can see everything a little bit better. But if you want to know more about the bag, there is a review on my channel of this bag. Um, Black Owl Outdoors also do, has also done a brilliant review of this bag as well. So in the, there's a back section of this which is called the laptop panel. I haven't got a laptop in there, <laughs> I don't need a laptop. But in the back section, I just use it as a space to kind of um, separate a few items from the rest of the pack. So in the back, straight away, is my seat pad. It's folded in half. It's got a wool felt liner on the top, canvas bottom. And I've also, I made this by the way, I did mention it in, mention it in another video, um, but I made it so it can take a foam pad. If, if it's winter time, I want some more insulation in there. So, I want to use this now to kneel on. So yeah, that's in the back section. It also gives the, the bag a bit of, um, you know, a bit of support uh, and a bit of structure. In the back, as it's winter time, I've got gloves. These are my lightweight gloves. I tend to get very cold hands all the time, so I need to keep dexterity. So thin gloves are the way I'd go. I can go over there. In the back, I always carry two hats. Flat cap and my beanie hat if it's particularly cold. It's quite a mild day today, so we don't have this on. But um, yeah, either the flat cap's in the bag or this is in the bag. I just like hats, simple as that. No particular reason. Uh, if you are wondering, this is a Buffy hat from Ben Orford. I have owned two now. I lost the first one in Canada, which I'm not very happy about. Oh, if you're wondering about these, these are just Bria's gardening gloves. Um, but they're absolutely fantastic. They've got great grip. I use them for driving. They've got mild insulation. They're just really nice thin gloves. So yeah, my Buffy hat. From Ben Orford. Oh, if anyone's wondering about the flat cap, because I guess somebody will ask, it's just a Harry's Tweed um, button top cap. 
Okay. So that's the back section. That's all empty now. I just want to grab the two bottles from the sides because it's a bit heavy. So in the one side, I have a one litre Cotapaxi water bottle. It is a Thermarest water bottle. You may remember from previous video, I used to have an orange one of these, which was a 750 milliliter. Cotapaxi appreciated the review me and Emily did for both of our rucksacks. So they sent us both um, the new model of their water bottle. It's an upgraded model. It's got a metal lid with a little ha um, hangy loop, which I really, really like. It's, it's good for opening. Slightly bigger mouth as well. And it's got this kind of, um, you know, this matte finish paint on it, which the other one didn't have. So I really like that. Emily got a 750ml, I got the 1 litre. Next up, which is a little bit dirty, I have my flask. I tend to carry my flask, I don't always. Something I should probably mention is everything in this bag, I carry majority of it. Some things I trade out, like the flask, I don't always carry the flask. Um, but majority of this always goes with me whenever me and Emily go out. I know some people will make a video and they claim they carry this stuff but they don't actually do it. This actually goes out with me, for the most part. This is a fantastic flask actually. It's not just a normal flask. Um, let me see if I can show you. It takes filter coffee. It's designed to. You can, you can put anything in it but um, it's actually got its own. If I can quickly show you. It's got its own filter. So you can press. Put filter coffee in there and press filter coffee on the go which I absolutely love because it saves you having to faff about and filter coffee is my favourite type of coffee if you're wondering where this coins from I got it from Canada so the odds of you being able to find one in England are low um, but the company is called Espresso E-S-P-R-O but it's an absolutely fantastic flask I love it ok next up in the main compartment Two, thing, two things, very simple. I should also probably mention, I don't carry a lot of equipment. I'm not one of these people who carry crap loads of stuff that they don't use. Everything in here I use regularly. There are some oddments which are, you know, being prepared. Um, but for the most part, I am quite a minimalist. I don't like carrying a lot of stuff. So next up, I've got my medium layer. It's just a fleece shirt, nothing special there. And in the bottom, like I said, where it tapers down, there's only really room for like one kind of clothing item. And it help, if you don't fill it with something, it ends up going all flabby and not good. <laughs> so in there, I've just got my Craghopper waterproof. This does come to, come, come to the top of the pack if it's forecast bad weather. If not, just goes in the bottom, just in case we need it. And that's it, that's the, the, the main compartment empty. Apart from this pocket at the top, just on the inside, where I just keep a snack. I've got a square bar in there at the minute. It can be anything in there, nothing particular. Just because I do get peckish when we're on walks and stuff. Um, Emily knows that as well, that's why she tends to bring snacks for me. <laughs> then we have this kind of larger pocket on the outside. This is for miscellaneous items, really. Um, but we'll open it up and we'll have a look. So, in the actual drop bit, the main section, I have, I carry a dump pouch. Now this is, this is a dump pouch I made, and it's also one of those items that I don't always carry. I tend to carry this if we're going to a place where there's going to be a woodland walk, or we're going to be more out in nature, you know, and there's, a, there's going to be a chance where I can kind of collect some resources, or maybe I'll find something I quite like, like a couple of cramp balls or some fungi, something like that. I whack this in the bag. And uh, it's there in case I want to pick some stuff up. Like I said, don't always carry it, but I do sometimes. Depends where we're going. I'll put that over here. Next up is the GoPro. I've actually only recently started carrying this. Um, I kind of re-realised -re when Peter was using his GoPro in Scotland, um, the importance of them and how useful they can be. So I've started to carry that more regularly. Uh, I used it for a time lapse uh, last week. 
So it's pretty nice, it's tiny, and if you just keep it charged, you've got a camera, so it's just, I just drop it in there. So that's a recent carry. I should probably also mention that I always carry the Ultrapod in my pack. It's just a really good little tripod that you can strap to trees, put it on the ground, it's absolutely solid, much better than the uh, Gorilla Pods. Um, in the main section, I've got my Maxpedition. Um, I don't know what it's called, I can't remember, but I'll go through this in a minute. That's the main section empty, but there is like a compartment section up here where there's uh, two pen sections, so I've got my pen in there. And then there's a, a mess section with a zip where I carry an audio jack cable. Very, very rarely use this, but I do find myself in situations where I get in someone's car and I'm like, oh, have you got an audio jack? I'll plug my iPod in. And they're like, no. And I'm like, great. So from for the past year or so, I've been carrying this audio jack, just in case. And then also in that section, I've got my first aid card because I'm a fully qualified first aider. Um, so that's just carries in case I need it. I don't, I've never needed it, but just in case, I don't know. And then in this main section here, I've got my notepad, which I made. There's a lot of kit that I've made here, um, just if I want to jot things down. My comb and my Kindle. I always carry my Kindle every single day because I do like to read. That's that section empty. Now, in between this kind of large pocket and the main compartment, there is what I like to call the go-to pocket. It's where I put all my kind of most accessed items. So I have my, my wrap wallet, which I made myself. Like I said, I like to go minimal, so my wallet is very small. I don't like it to hinder me in my pocket or kind of put my trousers down as such. I carry a coin purse or coin pouch. Let's keep it as manly as possible. Let's not call it a purse. Um, like I said, I don't like to carry on my change in my, po in my pocket. I'd rather keep it all together. And then I have cream and Vaseline. I have bad hands, let's not get into that. <laughs> That's pretty much it. There is a little clip here in this bag which I really like. I clip my filter on there for my camera sometimes, or my keys if I'm you know, going somewhere with a suitcase, I put the suitcase key on there. It saves me losing it. I also carry my sunglasses in this, in this pocket, but I've lost my sunglasses and I don't know where they've gone. So yeah, they normally go in there as well. So the bag's empty now. This is the main one. This is very full. I have a lot of miscellaneous items. I'm not a prepper. I don't carry loads of stuff I don't need. Everything in here generally gets used fairly regularly. Um, so yeah, in here, in the back section, I've got my... Um, oh, what's it called now? Uh, my power gen. Um, charger, so I can charge my my GoPro, my camera, my iPod, my phone. I have every every electrical item I have, so it syncs up with this, so I can charge it all. In here, I've got my iPod, jute twine because you can never have too much um, reusable cord. Um, sorry, throwaway cordage. That's always handy. A charger for my mini speakers that I sometimes carry. A pencil, spare battery for the torch, which is, which is over here. A pen knife, which is just a rough rider pen knife, just got two blades on, um, pretty simple. I've got two micro USB chargers, because like I said, everything uses the same charging lead. Two is one, and one is none with those. If one of those breaks and I'm out and about, I'm pretty stuffed, so I always carry two. I've got the spare camera for that battery there, sorry, I've got the spare battery for that camera there. Um, I've got the through night T10 torch, which I really love, and the, the lightsaber attachment, which I like to call it. That's what the spare battery's for. And then I've got um, earphones. <laughs> Sorry, I went blank then. In the back here on this clip, I carry the filter which I for the camera, which I was just talking about. If I'm using it and I need it for quickness, I pop it on the other clip in my bag. Oh, and there's also a sewing kit in here as well, because... 
Um, so I take, I always take this camping with me, and if one of my straps or something breaks, I need to fix it. At least I know it's in there, and I'm going to keep thinking about packing it whenever I go camping. So yeah, that's it. I don't carry a lot, as I've mentioned. I, I try to keep it minimal. Um, so yeah, let's put it back in the bag, and I'll uh, show you how it carries. I only have a small bag, like I said, 26 litres, it's not a lot, but it's just how I like it. I really like this bag as well because it, it fits really comfortably on your back, it's kind of snug to your back. Not too much going on. Like I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting stressed out today because I've got like four layers on, I'm just like, ugh, choking. <laughs> I also enjoy like the less you carry, the easier it is to find stuff. I have a really bad memory and I'm forever losing things. So the more organised I can be, the better. I really need to get home and try and find my glasses. They're my favourite sunglasses and I've lost them. Not happy. So as you can see, it's now on my back. It's got a very good stern strap that you can adjust this bag as. So if we are hiking or anything like that, it's nice and comfortable, it carries really well. It's very narrow to my back as well. So it doesn't hang out, anything like that. And I just like it, it's just good, tight, comfortable. Just how I like it. And I can run or whatever, and it doesn't, get, it doesn't hinder me, it doesn't get in the way. So if you're wondering what Emily carries, because I did mention earlier that Emily does carry some of the stuff. Um, generally she just carries the food, um, whether that's a lunch or the preparation of food that we're going to cook that day. And it's my job to carry the stuff that um, we're going to be using to cook it with. So the equipment or the picnic blanket, anything like that. Um, the heavier stuff basically. She sorts the food out and um, anything she needs, so like her utensils for eating and stuff like that. So that way we can carry everything we need, but between the two of us, both of us are pretty nimble and uh, no one's carrying all the stuff. So yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope there's, you can get something out of it. Maybe there's something I carry that you don't. Uh, or likewise, if there's something you're carrying that you think I could benefit from, um, let me know in the comments. I'd, I'd like to know. Um, I'm always up for kind of improving it. I have been carrying this system for about six months now and it seems to be pretty decent, um, I'm really liking it. But I'm always open to, uh, to improvements really, so let me know, please do. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon. Hello again people. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed that video. It is one I've been meaning to make for a while because it is something I've feel is quite important to me. I do carry that bag every single day with majority of those items in. So I did kind of want to go over it and share it with you guys. If you do want to see the review for the Cotopaxi rucksack, then that is the video that's playing on screen right now. If you click on there, that will take you to that video. I just think it's a really nice setup. I feel like I've spent quite a bit of time just kind of perfecting it and I seem to have got it to a point now where I'm really happy with it. But like I said in the video, if there are anything that you guys think I could benefit from, please do let me know in the comments. If not, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon.